Aloha, YouTubers! Do you like jigsaw puzzles? So far, we've taken a look at several pieces. Volume, articulation, timing, pitch, and vocal quality. They're all important, but how do we integrate them into one winning combination? That's the focus of this video. If you add vocal variety, your speeches will shine. Let's begin with the most common problem. Most people know that the fastest way to put an audience to sleep is to use a monotonous tone and predictable pace. Despite this, they drone on and on anyway. Sometimes it's the content and not the speaker that's boring, but without vocal variety, it just makes matters worse. The first thing to remember is that change is good. To be specific, change-ups are good. Major league pitchers throw lots of fastballs, but they also know how to throw curves, knuckleballs, sliders, and change-ups. Pitchers who jump from the minor leagues to the majors within a short time discipline themselves in becoming less and less predictable. If you want to improve as a speaker, you should too. The first aspect of vocal variety you can change is your volume. You have to use judgment, of course. You could crescendo gradually to emphasize a certain part. By the same token, decreasing your volume can add just the right touch. Another consideration is variation in timing. Speed up when you want to add a sense of excitement. And please slow down, especially when you get to the heaviest parts of your content. This is especially true at the end of a story or anecdote. Leave a lasting impression on the audience by giving it enough time to fully appreciate your message. In addition, if your speech is fairly long, you should consider the length of your pauses. Some pauses should be short, but others should be longer. Complex ideas and deep messages require longer pauses. Are you giving your audience enough time to consider your main ideas? Or are you distracting them by racing through your speech. You control the moment. If you run off the edge of a verbal cliff at 160 words per minute, the audience's attention will dive bomb with you. Practice staying in the moment and focus on the needs of the audience. Another variation you can try is changing your vocal quality. Start by listening carefully to your daily conversational tone. Then add touches of pizzazz. One technique you can try is accenting the first syllable of an important word. For example, this spirited racehorse can hear the accent on the first syllable of spirited gave us a pop of energy to wake up our listeners. Hmm. What else can you do? Try a quirky voice. Did you remember to do your paperwork? Practice the ones your audiences tend to like. There you have it, the basics of vocal variety. Are you ready to put the pieces together and create a masterpiece? Good luck and aloha.